In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a temporary pause in a rigid body physics simulation, like what we see here, so that you can change your camera angle, and the simulation can continue after the pause as it is. This can be useful when you want to capture a scene from multiple angles, or you want to create a time stop scene. We'll also learn in this tutorial, how to apply a rigid body displacement for any object, so that the object gets a permanent transformation from one particular simulation. So let us start with the base file of this tutorial. Here, we have a heap of some wooden planks. And each plank over here is set up as an active rigid body, like this. We have also added a floor into this scene, and it is set up as a passive rigid body. We have already baked the rigid body physics. We have a ball here hanging in the air, it will come down and hit this structure. Let us go to the solid view mode. We'll now run the simulation and see the things in action. The ball comes down due to gravity, it hits the pillar, and the planks get scattered all over the floor. Our aim is to pause this simulation for some time at a particular frame so that the camera can change its viewing angle or you can execute some other action during that period. Our camera is here. A track to constraint is attached to it so that it looks at the center and it is also following this circular path. It means the camera has got a follow path constraint like this, where the target object is this circle. So we want the camera to move along this path, while the rigid body simulation is at a temporary pause. Such a pause in the physics simulation can be created by changing the simulation speed. So we have to go to the scene properties tab. Here, under the rigid body world, we have a field called speed. This is the field which we have to manipulate in order to create the temporary pause in our physics simulation. Let's run the simulation and watch it again. This time, we have to identify a particular frame where we want to stop the simulation for a short break. Let's say we want to stop it somewhere like frame number 200. And it should remain like this until frame number 300. So for the current frame, we have to first keyframe the existing speed factor, which is the default value. Let's do that. Then we'll go to the next frame. We'll change the speed factor to zero and insert a keyframe for this. Then let's say we go to frame number 300. We'll keep this same value until this frame. And then for the next frame, we have to change the simulation speed back to one and keyframe this as well. Now if we bake this physics, it will pause at frame number 200 and resume the action only after frame number 300. So go down here, delete all the bakes, and then start the baking. We can see the progress right here. It can take few moments. Once this is done, we can go back to the first frame and run the simulation. We have to wait till frame number 200 to know if this method works or not. So the simulation stops here. It will resume after 300 and the planks will scatter like before. We have to now change our camera angle during this time period. Or you can also continue some other regular motions in the scene. So for the camera, in the follow path constraint, we have to animate this offset factor as suitable. So let us go to say frame number 220. We will simply keyframe this current value. Then we have to go to frame number 300. We want to move the camera this way. So let us change the offset value, maybe like this. We can verify it directly in the camera view. So this is the new camera angle. And we'll insert a keyframe here. Now we can start the animation again from the beginning. This time we'll verify it within the camera view. So you can use this for a time stop video, something that we cannot do in real life. We cannot stop an action like this, but here we can easily do that in Blender. Let us now take another case. In this example, we have a stack of balls. They'll collapse due to gravity, and we have baked it already. So we can see that the balls come down on the ground and start rolling on the table. Let's say you want to stop the simulation at a certain point. Let us take this frame for example. You want the balls to remain in their current position permanently, so that you can use them in a model, or you can add some other physics simulation on their current position. But if you simply remove the balls from rigid body physics, it won't really work because the balls will then go back to their starting positions. First, select all the balls together. Ensure that nothing else is selected other than the balls, so let us remove this table. 
Now go to the object menu. Under rigid body physics, just select apply transformation. It will make the current positions of the balls permanent. Now again go to the object menu. And under rigid body, select this remove option, so that their rigid body properties are completely removed. If you now go to the first frame, you'll see that their current positions remain as it is. And even if you run the animation, the balls won't move from this position, they are now just like any other mesh object. So you can transform them freely, or you can move them anywhere you want. And the best thing is, you can even use them in another rigid body physics. If something does not work correctly, please remember that the rigid body cache needs to be refreshed. So today we learned two different techniques, or two different use cases, where you want to stop a rigid body simulation in the middle, and use that for some other purpose. I hope you like this tutorial. We have many such useful tutorials here, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel.